for all things Halloween. <laughs> this is Haunt Farmer, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Trick or Treat Studios officially licensed Dead Silence Collection Billy Puppet Mask. So if you haven't seen the movie Dead Silence, it is a horror film by James Wan. You may know him from movies like The Conjuring or Saw. And it's a movie about basically the ghost of a ventriloquist. And throughout the movie, you will see this dummy known as Billy. Which is interesting because the uh, puppet from Saw was also called Billy. I don't know. I guess James Wan has a strange uh, fascination with dummies named Billy. <laughs> Uh, but nonetheless, this is one of the characters from that film. And this is a really nice uh, representation of that character. There was one thing, though. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, why this mask didn't completely remind me of the puppet. And then I looked up pictures, and I'm pretty sure it's these eyes. Now, don't get me wrong. These eyes are creepy and great. They work great for this mask. And if you wear this in a haunted house or on Halloween, you're going to creep out a lot of people. But... The uh, eye color, I think, is supposed to be a little bit duller. That is a very vibrant green, like a St. Patrick's Day green in there. It should almost be more of a mint green or even lighter, as you can sort of tell right here with those eyes. I don't know, maybe it just stood out to me and it made it not seem uh, almost more like slappy than it did uh, the Dead Silence puppet. But nonetheless, this is a really cool mask. Uh, there's a lot of ventilation in it. You know, you have the eye holes, there's nose holes, there's mouth holes, so you're going to be able to breathe pretty well. And it's pretty large, so it should fit on your head relatively fine. Uh, Trigger Sheet Studios does a great job of making these masks look very realistic. It looks like a dummy head. They are making a prop version of Billy, so if you want to get a prop rather than a mask, you can check that out on their website. Uh, but this mask, I paid, I think around like 20 bucks for it or something like that, which is remarkable. They were having like a sale on Amazon, so I got it for really cheap. But I think it runs for about maybe $40 to $60. If you can get it for about $30 to $40, I'd say that's a reasonable price. Just because it doesn't have, you know, much going on. It's just a, it's one of their plainest masks that I've seen. It doesn't have a lot of hair. doesn't have a lot of things, like, sticking out of it. You know, like, uh, the Krampus mask has, like, horns and a beard and a, a drape around it. This is a very simple mask, but very effective. And uh, it would look really cool, I bet, in a haunted house, which is where I would love to use this. Um, like I said, this is made by Trick or Treat Studios. It has a little pamphlet here you can learn about how to take care of your mask and just warnings like don't drive with a mask, stuff like that. Uh, and it has, of course, the Dead Silence official license. You can see the little picture uh, right on here of what the mask should look like. And it looks pretty close. I gotta say that. A lot of times with the pictures, uh, they'll deceive you, but this mask looks pretty much like what you would expect. Uh... Overall, I think this mask is pretty good quality. I paid a very good price for it, and it is definitely creepy. So overall, I'm going to have to give this mask a 4 out of 5 skulls on the RIP Reviews rating scale. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed it. Check out my other reviews. I have a lot of other masks that I talk about, and I hope you enjoyed this one too. Thanks again to uh, Trick or Treat Studios for making really cool masks, and I can't wait to see what they're coming out with in the future. Thank you as always, and remember, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.